John Castellic, coeditor de la revista Cerioyenology, ha dado esta tarde las claves para lograr publicar en revistas científicas de impacto. Lo ha hecho en el seminario previo al undécimo Congreso Internacional de la Asociación Española de Reproducción Animal. There's many, there's many key factors. The, in terms of the, the most important things, is you must always describe what you did in enough detail that someone else could repeat what you have done based on your description. And that description should be in the materials and methods section in a standard manuscript. So the key, the key tip there is it has to be in enough detail for someone else to reproduce it. Another very key point is there should be very good association between materials and methods and results. And I like to use the, the analogy or the, the comparison that it should be like looking in a mirror. So when you look in a mirror, you get a, a mirror image reflection and the materials and methods and results sh should be like a mirror image of one another. So that if you said you did something in materials and methods, in results, you must report your outcome. And if you said you found something in the results, you must have said that you did that in materials and methods. And often people make mistakes of reporting something and not having described having done it or describe something that they've done and fail to report results. That's a very key, a very key error. Another very common one is formatting errors. If you don't For what? format, the, the format is the, the, the layout or the how things are, um, yeah, how things are laid out in the, in the article. If the, for example, if the method of, that you use to cite the references, if it's not consistent with the, with the format of the journal, it makes the reviewer or the editor wonder if perhaps you had sent the paper somewhere else and it wasn't accepted mm -hmm. and now you've resubmitted it to another journal without having taken the time to to properly format it. Pero hay voces que prefieren hablar de open science. Castellic les responde. So it's in principle a good idea because it does provide access at no charge for people around the world including of course those in developing countries but sometimes it limits, it limits publication because authors simply can't af afford the, the, the charges to, to publish in those journals. También les explica cómo tratan de evitar fraude las propias revistas. At the first level, it's the responsibility of the author to be honest, to be honest that's right. And, and there's an expectation that when you submit something that it's valid and honest. Then we have the peer review system where Typically, most articles are reviewed by typically at least, at least two people that have knowledge of that area, and they look it over and and they see if if it makes sense. And that has to go through that review process prior to publication to become a, a peer-reviewed article. Esto es Ciencia a tres. Esto es Ciencia a tres.